What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Monday morning. We've got a bank holiday here, but we are going to be live streaming in just a little bit. First, to get this video and review out for Bale, Robson and Fletcher. Now, I thought this was going to be Rosicky. I was full sure of it, but it is Brian Robson and it's a double pack for Manchester United with Fletcher and Robson. And then Bale is the edge crossing showtime skill player version that is from the Tottenham season. I would say probably, I think the season, yeah, the season he was beasting it up. Uh, pretty much playing as kind of like a left midfielder rather than a more attacking option, right? Now, this pack comes in as an English League midfielders pack. You've got the rest of the players here. And I'm just going to go straight into the builds, right? We're going to show you a build. Then we're going to show you what he looks like in-game with his build. And then later on in live stream, we're going to be playing a little bit with him and testing him out and seeing what he's like. Because Bale is definitely an interesting choice. I'm going to show you why. So the rest of the cards in here are pretty okay. I mean, they're average at this stage in the game. But it's all about these three boys here, which is why you'll be spinning, right? So Darren Fletcher, we're going to start with him. As I said, I'll make this video short and sweet if you're looking for the best build. There is what Fletcher looks like. This is his card. He's got the hard worker plus two. That's going to give a boost to his uh, acceleration, physical contact, stamina, and aggression. So you can kind of train him up in a different way. He does have blocker and fighting spirit as a destroying center midfielder. He also does have one touch pass and way to pass. But he doesn't have a little lofted. He doesn't have true passing. I think he's kind of a strange card because he's got very little speed and acceleration. I would have expected him to have a little bit more than that. And that's going to dictate how you actually train him up, especially with his acceleration and stuff. Um, because you will have to put a little bit less into his acceleration, but a little bit more into his, um, uh, his speed. If you want to get his speed and stamina into the kind of the 80 mark, because obviously he's going to get a booster with that as well. Um, but yeah, there is a different couple of ways to train him. And we're going to show you why, right? And how. So this is the build that we would go for, I would think, over on eFootballDB. Something similar to this. I'll show you in a second here the actual breakdown of the stats. Something similar to this. This is what he looks like in-game if you wanted to go with that. Um, that is just an interesting choice there if you want to go with him. Thanks to OC for sending me on that build. That's kind of where I would go with him. Except I would probably go with just a slightly more kind of uh, speed acceleration build. Just because I don't think that passing at the moment in the game is really going to be changed by a couple of stats. Now, we've still got a few left over here, so it's not the final, final build. If you are struggling with his, you know, you can pop his aerial strength up a little bit if you want to tell. You could pop one more into his defending. It depends on how you want to train him up. Uh, I would probably go with the dexterity. I'd probably pop three into dexterity for a 4, 3, 9, 12, 2, 10 passing. Uh, dribbling, dexterity, lower body, aerial, and then defending breakdown of his stats and skills. Um, I think that's probably where I would go with him. Same with Robson, right? So Robson is kind of also an interesting one um, because obviously if you are using Robson, you are going to be using him as kind of like a whole player. We'll show you his build here in a second, right? So Robson is actually quite an interesting player if you are looking for a whole player center midfielder slash AMF. Now you're going to have to give him attacking midfielder as a position trainer if you want to, so that's a bit of a bummer. But he does have a really nice card for skills and stats. One touch pass, way to pass, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, rising shot, heading, Captain C, he's got it all. Now, he's not the tallest, but he's also quite quick and strong on the ball. Even though his acceleration and balance aren't amazing, his tight possession is a really, really nice stat as well. So that's something to keep in mind. There's the build we've gone for 4, 7, 8, 13 into dexterity to get that acceleration up as high as we possibly can. And of course, get the balance up as high as we possibly can as well. Two into defending because there's nowhere else to put the stats. Um, But I do think that this is an okay card. At this stage in the game, I don't think that it's like a meta card. I know some people will have fun with this card, but I don't think that it's going to change the dial too much on your standard, you know, kind of team that you have already. And that is as well what he looks like with a new, with a manager, right? So you've got the 85 speed, a slightly different build, but it depends. You can train him up both ways. Obviously, you can just match these stats or else follow my build that we had on screen there. Um, It just depends on what way you want to build him up. But I would definitely value acceleration a bit more on Robson and speed on him into the 80, 85 zone um, just because of the role that you're going to play with him unless you're using him as an attacking midfielder and giving him the position trainer. See, that's the problem. You know, Konami never give the full versions of these players. They always give players that are just kind of halfway there. And then you need to finish them off to get the best version of them playing for you on the pitch. Now, last but not least, we've got Garrett Bale. Okay, so Bale is definitely one that a lot of people have been waiting on. Uh, he does have creative playmaker as a play style, which is a bit of a pity. But he does have edge crossing, which is very effective. I mean, obviously, if you're going to be swinging balls in, it's going to be very effective. I do feel, though, that there's a big issue with this card, right? And it is the fact that his showtime skill 
is only going to be used out wide. If you're playing him as an SS or an attacking midfielder or whatever, which is down as his creative playmaker, it kind of goes against, it kind of like is um, kind of fighting against each other. So if you're playing him as a creative playmaker, he's definitely best suited in as an attacking midfielder, which you need to train on him. If you're using him as a left winger, he doesn't have prolific winger or Roman flank. He doesn't have cross specialist, even though he's got a lot of cross and stats. So it's kind of a mismatch of stats and skills going on with Bale. I do think they'll bring out a way better version of Bale down the line. But he is a new kind of uh, booster card. And I do feel that a lot of people will go for him. Plus, off the rip, he does have, you know, pretty much 90 speed, 88 speed with that. Now, this is a build that you can go for if you want to. Um, this is, I'll show you the breakdown here in a second. 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 90 kicking power, physical contact balance and stamina is really tight and really nice with the type session dribbling and ball control and lofted pass with only 82 into finishing. Um, and that is going to be dependent on how you actually play, right? So... If you want to play with Bale, I would definitely recommend a build like this. You're going to get all the boosts where you want him. You're going to have maxed out acceleration. Offensively, he's going to be extremely good. And he's going to have that tight possession. It's not going to go really maybe to the 90, but you are going to have the dribbling at 90. I feel like they've slightly changed the tight possession for players that aren't playing center forward. I'll get into that in another video. But I think this build is definitely worth it. Obviously, we don't have the free reset to train, but you can uh, check that one out there. Seven into shooting, zero into passing, or else you can pop one into passing that's left over. Seven, one, nine, 12, six, starting with shooting and then with lower body strength. It's a good card, but it's definitely not kind of, you know, the the absolute like meta 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 of where he should be you know but anyway let me know if you guys spun for these as i said we will be streaming in just a little bit an earlier stream today because i'm off work um but yeah let me know what you guys think did you spin would you like me to spin and i will talk to you in a little bit don't forget to subscribe we'll chat you in the live stream